Okay, here we go. Finals time for our Pro-Am event. That's going to be Bob McCoy and Justin Jenkins taking on uh, Dustin Holt and Rand Wisnat, a.k.a. Gator. So uh, that's what we've got going on here. Let's pull our scoreboard up. As uh, Jenkins and McCoy are your current king seat holders. They're going to have to get double dipped in order to lose this match. So we will see how this one goes here. Big 150 for Holt to open us off. Or to open up his team off. Gator and uh, Dustin currently residing in the Oklahoma City area. That's where I frequently see Gator at. It's usually at that OKC tournament. Lawton as well. Come on, as Mrs. Tammy get around on the scene. Good stuff from Holt as he's able to capitalize on the 150, leaving 85. Jenkins outside of checkout range. Guaranteed three here for Randy. Randall Wisnat. Guaranteed six now. So a little bit bigger margin. Fifty, right in the heart. Big shot for Holt and uh, Wisnat as they're able to capitalize on the first leg. One nil advantage to them. Just diddle every leg, so I'm going to take a look here. That's one hole outside. That is further outside, so. Jenkins McCoy will get the start in our second leg of our final. Cover with the last five mark there to at least put some points on the board. That's that's what's got to be the goal here. Three just simply isn't going to do. And it's a seven for Holt on the 19s. Out to a little bit of a lead, 36 to be exact. We do have some singles action getting called in the background that is now currently getting underway, and that is going to be singles cricket, so. It's kind of taking a gander here at the bracket. Looks like we're a couple rounds in, possibly three rounds in on some sides for the non-pro bracket. Colby Krishman making a good run as he 
bested James Punches and then bested Tommy Campbell. Looks up is going to be Dean Garadini for him, and that's the youngster out of Lawton, Oklahoma. This could be a good bracket, a favorable bracket for the youngster. Just got to keep his level head here. We'll see if that's the case. Over on the men's pro side, Donnie Ram, Jacob Womack playing right now. Cody Willis already into the top four on the winner side. So, yeah, we are well ahead on both of our men's brackets for singles. This is good from McCoy. Doesn't grab the last, but a good six mark. It's been good position for a 1-1. One, one. Just the triple, the single triple from Jenkins. Rocking the Kansas City Chiefs, Chiefs Kingdom jersey. I'm digging it. I really am, buddy. Got to get me one of those jerseys. We're in Chiefs country here. Six mark for Wiz Snap. Kind of going on down about his business as Holton Wiz. Jenkins. I'm gonna, yeah, I think that's the good move here. Open up the 15 beds. Now take your. No, he didn't even take a look at the 16s. I would have been at least taking a look with my last shot there, but to each their own. Got to surely go 16s fairly soon here if you're McCoy. I don't see a reason why you shouldn't. Go ahead and take care of that number. Even if it's three fats, you're fine. But okay, now a little bit more difficult. He's elected to stay there and just the one for McCoy. So possible door opener for Holt. A six mark on the 15s gives him the look. And he's going right at the 16s early. Or sorry, he's going, uh, sorry, he needs to point on the 16s before going to the 15s. My apologies. So just mirroring that score lines there. Does gather that lead, which is nice, but I feel Jenkins is just not even taking a look at the 16s. I mean, I get it. I mean, it's a it's a doubles format. It's a doubles format, so I guess you, I mean you got to play a little bit more conservative. You got to point a little bit more, but eventually you got to take your chances, or else it's going to go about the other way. I mean, 
There's a certain extent where that could happen, right? Corey asking, where's the bracket? We have our brackets available on CompuSport. Been able to put a couple links in there. Let me go ahead and try to put one more in there for you. Let me grab that uh, link for our uh, brackets. I'll throw that in our chat here. Great six from Holt. Let's see Jenkins go ahead and elect and a double up that 16. So here we go. One, two, three on the Bulls to advance to the double dip set. And he gets it. Great shot. 2-0 in that set to Holt and Wisnat. As we'll go back to a 0-0 score line. And we're just going to take a moment here. I don't know if we're deciding how we're going to go about this or what. But maybe Bob's just taking a second to get back underway before he diddles it up. I think that's exactly what's happening. He unfortunately doesn't have that little set to kind of work off of. He had that set advantage, and that's that's gone. That's gone in two straight legs, too. So that's kind of a uh, a pressure adder, a... Confidence loser. I don't. I don't know how you put it that that way, but a loss of confidence. Planning out strategy here, it looks like. Coy to lead us off. Aaron saying, that's a lot of thinking. Yeah, you ain't lying there, my guy. Just kind of curious as to what these guys were pondering on about. Okay, so I think they're talking about whether it's 501 or or choice on that last leg decider. I think that's what we were deciding on about there. Is looking for another, grabs another. But right now, we've got a shot at a 10. 2 of 1 to look for McCoy. Oh, coulda, shoulda, woulda. Me and Johnny Lackey were lucky enough to hit one of those 10s earlier on today. 
Granted, it didn't take us anywhere, but a 9th through 12th finish, so. I'm sure there's been quite a few 10s hit in the room today. It's Justin Jenkins and Bob McCoy will finally get a leg on the board. Taking a second there to chat with Justin for just a moment. Here we go. Underway, Holt to lead us off. Great opener of a seven mark for Holt. follow from Bob McCoy getting interesting here in our Pro-Am final at Shark Tank 2023 Getting some entertainment, folks, in this one. Just a triple fest. <laughs> Another nine. Gators, the one unfortunately not able to perform quite yet in this leg, but it could be a little time, but you got to find it quick because you're 1-0 down in your last set. is just an entertaining one. 2-5 is the low number here, but look at the other ones. 5-5, five, five, six, six, seven, five, three, three.
Oh, Dustin Holt. Just going off for him and his teammate here. He's really picking up where Gator has just not been able to hit in this one. Uh, here's the gator we know. Steps back, kind of knows, uh, should I go with the 16 or not? The way everybody's hitting, it, it, it is safe to go for the 16s, it's all, but I would say it's, it's the better decision to stay on those 18s there. I mean, just the way everybody's been hitting in this match, I mean. And there you go, exactly why. Justin Jenkins putting in the 9 on the 16s. What you got? Oh. I'm not IPA guy. Gross. No. <laughs> Garrett Rakowski in here dogging on me for my preference of drinks and Whataburger. <laughs> that honey butter chicken croissant or biscuit was decent. It was pretty good. But them burgers are just like Sonic, my guy. <laughs> Go to Freddy's. We'll be good. <laughs> All right. Yeah, or Culver's, I guess. Oh, my gosh. Enough of that food talk. You're going to make me hungry. Six mark for Gators. He's finally able to find some form. Was struggling in the early rounds. Now shooting a 4-0. Oh. This has just been oh, quite the leg, in all honesty. I mean, you got two players averaging just over or at four. Two hover around that six mark, which is just really impressive. Your pro am as Gator gets the leg. We're going to head to another decider here in the double dip, similar to the ladies. So uh, more darts is always great, correct? Come on now. I think Dustin got him by one is what it looks like to me. Maybe it's a tie. Looks like uh, Dustin did get him. He 
would have loved to fill it up, but. And how about this? Our last league decider is 0-1. Oh, my. That can be difficult. We won't see the long, drawn-out cricket match, but you still could see a good leg here between these two teams. See if Gator can continue on. At least two, two bulls. And he'll be a little happy with himself. You want all three. And all three he gets. Big darts from Gator. Leaving it up to Dustin Holt to set him up for the checkout. And the win. Holt leaves the Shanghai for Gator, so unless a 180 is really hit here, oh, I guess a 150 would do. They'll leave 171, which is a master out. But it ain't going to happen now. Helping him out, find his, find his dart there. Six at 120 for the win. <laughs> Coolio. <laughs> Let's see if he can do it. 20 for Bull. And Randy, Randall Wisnat and Dustin Holt will be your champions here in uh, Pro-Am Doubles at Shark Tank.